Our commitment to covering Colorado first takes us to Boulder. A week-long court hearing is now underway to determine if a 15-year-old will be tried as an adult in the murder of a young woman. Yeah, his attorneys have suggested his defense might include the use of a potent acne drug that is said to affect behavior. 20-year-old woman, a graduate of Green Mountain High School, was found stabbed to death at the Shores Apartments last November. Investigator Rick Sounder spoke with an expert on the subject of that drug today. Joins us now from the Boulder County Courthouse. So what have you learned, Rick? Well, Karen, the defendant in this case is 15-year-old Aiden Von Grebo. He told police that he had used the drug Accutane for his acne around last October when his behavior started getting very erratic. It could be an important part of his defense in this case involving the murder of a young woman. Hello, my name is Michaela Grote. Since she was a child, Michaela Grote wanted a career as a race car driver. She would hang out at the Colorado National Speedway in Decano. Although being female, I have pushed through all the diversity both on and off the track. But that dream came to an end last November when she was found stabbed to death in her Longmont apartment. Prosecutors are seeking to have a 15-year-old boy, Aiden Von Grebau, tried as an adult in the murder. The hearing is taking place in court in Boulder. His defense attorneys have hinted they may point to the use of the acne drug Accutane as part of his defense. Dr. Robert Valak is a professor with the CU Skag School of Pharmacy. Can Accutane cause someone to murder? According to the evidence, there's no evidence that it causes that. In 2002 in Tampa, Florida, a 20-year-old flew a plane into the side of a building. He had a prescription of Accutane in his home. While the drug has been found effective for treating acne, it has been studied for possible links to suicide and depression, but there has been no definitive determination. We can't tell if it's the depression or the medication or something else in the person's life, and there's just not enough evidence to be able to point to one of those and say, that's it. For the family of the victim in this case, it's been another difficult day. The testimony included the discovery of a notebook in the defendant's bedroom, and it was a death list, including the name not of the victim, but her sister. Live in Boulder, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. Rick, thank you.